open KK Java tutorials. In previous video tutorial, we have learned how to configure a uh, Jenkins pipelines, and this is the basically job which we had uh, created, right? If I go to inside this uh, job pipeline job, and then I go to the configure, and if I scroll down, then here you can see this is the basically uh, a script of I had written inside this uh, box right and I had selected pipeline script and uh, and that's the way basically uh, I had created uh, Jenkins pipelines but in this video we will see a little different approach so here on github I have a project same project which I had configured in my previous video as a Jenkins pipeline so here if you look into this project root directory I have a file is called a uh, Jenkins file Jenkins file right so using this Jenkins files which is already residing on the github uh, I would like to configure over here right so if you go here and if you click this drop down then we have a second option pipeline script from HGM right so using this option how we can configure pipeline uh, Jenkins pipeline uh, that we are going to see in this video tutorial yeah so if you want to uh, learn how to create a Jenkins pipeline using declarative fashion what I have done over here so you can watch my previous video tutorial so let's start from the scratch so here uh, if, if I go to the here on Jenkins dashboard then what I'll do I'll copy this job name let me copy this job name and go to the here and here I'm going to start everything from the scratch so I'll click on the new item and here at this time I'm going to keep my job name as this job is already existing so I I'll give a uh, project name uh, hyphen pipeline 2 yeah and here I'm again going to select pipeline and clicking on ok so we will be navigated on the uh, job configuration uh, page right and here uh, if I scroll down right then in pipeline section uh, I'm going to select at this time this one pipeline skip from Asia so when you select this option then you have to select SCM SCM is nothing but source code management tool what we are using that is git over here right so I'll select git so once you select git then here you need to specify the repository URL so you have to go on your github and click on the code section drop down and click over here so that we can copy this uh, our uh, project uh, repository URL and same we have to paste it over here yeah and click outside then this message will go away right so as uh, this my project is a public repository right so in that case I don't need to specify any credential detail if you are uh, basically try to basically clone or build a private repository then you have to click over here and go to the Jenkins and here you need to specify username password ID etc okay but uh, as uh, my repository is public one so I'm not going to specify I don't need to basically specify these things yeah? now here if you look in the script path so here I have given the Jenkins file so this is the standard uh, file naming convention we have to give and just uh, giving the file name should be enough so this is getting populated automatically make sure that file name you have given uh, following this convention j should be capital right and here just I'm just uh, this is the automatically uh, basically populated so here a specifying file name would be uh, sufficient because uh, this Jenkins file uh, exists in the my root directory project root directory only right now if I click over here if you look into the content of the uh, this uh, file then content of this file is exactly same what we had seen in the previous video tutorial so let me explain you so pipeline always start from the pipeline and then you have a curly bracket open then here I have to you have to write any agent because uh, as you know uh, Jenkins always works in the master slave mode right so if you want to uh, specify any slate slave then slave ID you have to specify but here I was specified agent any then stages starting over here and closing somewhere here and within the stage we have a different stages so we had a specify git repo and clean is a clean uh, uh, stage so here first of all if this project is already existing in the local directory then that is going to delete and that's what I have written rmdir slash a slash q so this is a bad command 
batch command for Windows. If you are working on uh, Linux, then instead of a bat, wherever you see bat, you have to write sh command, right? And here, instead of rm, dir, you have to write rm command. And then uh, instead of these two, uh, basically flag, you have to specify hyphen rm, rf, right? So that that will uh, delete the recursively all the files. So why we require this command? Because uh, here next command we have a git clone command. So this is going to clone our git repository, right? Uh, right. Uh, before uh, building the project, we need to clone it, right? And that's what uh, this command does. So, so, so before, so, uh, so let's say you have uh, earlier uh, cloned your project. So this file will be existing in the local, right? So I want that should be deleted before cloning and that's what we have to specify this command All right now next command we have a mbn clean so this will do the cleaning operation if there would have been uh, built this project earlier than that build file uh, distributed file will be deleted from the target directory now next is the install install basically here again mbn command mbn install we have given and uh, minus f that's the file location and here just you need to give the project name that should be enough. Uh, this is the just relative name. So just you have to give the project name. So this basically do that will take the all the source code and that will basically uh, uh, try to generate the uh, basically executable uh, out of your source code. Uh, that may be a jar or var or er, right? Now in testing phase or testing testing stage, we are just running the all the test cases available in our project. Right. Finally, we are just doing the packaging. Packaging uh, step, uh, packaging stage. What will happen? That will package uh, your uh, war file, uh, so war or year, whatever is getting packed. I mean, pack uh, whatever is distributed, distributed file is getting generated. That is going to store in your target directory in your project. Right. So that's all. All concept about this Jenkins file. Now let's come back up here and. Uh, so almost everything is done, right? And here just I have specified the, uh, basically my branch name for that I'm going to run this uh, Jenkins pipeline. If you if you have another branch, like in this project, you have a different branch. So you can specify the branch, whatever branch you want to run. So here by default, master is getting displayed. If you want to run the develop, then simply instead of master, you have to write the develop, that's it. Now I'm going to apply and save and I'm going to run this uh, project now and just I'm going to click on the build now and see what is happening. Now build has started. Now you can see. Uh, now you have to see now here you can see uh, uh, declarative checkout SCM that uh, got passed, but in this uh, uh, git repo and clean got failed. So uh, let's go to the this uh, build log and see what's went wrong. All right. So here, if I go, then let's check what what went wrong actually. So guys, here you can see the, this error is coming uh, because of this command rmdir. So this file is not existing at all because uh, first time I'm running this project, right? So what what's the uh, basically uh, problem over here? Uh, here, what I'll do, I'll go to here and uh, uh, just for time being, uh, what I have to do, let's go go here and here just of time being, actually that is trying to delete uh, this file locally and this file is not existing first time. When I run the first time, right? So I need to edit this file and I will just comment this one first time. So, and here I'm going to, this is going to run first time. So this uh, folder is not existing at all. That's the reason this is getting failed. So I, I go to the again after commenting that line and I'll try to uh, rebuild again. Now let's see. So now this is in progress. Now see now that should be succeeded at each and every stage. So first git repo and clean is going on. 
now this got uh, passed now inst install install the stage is running now install the stage is uh, still running now we have different basically these are the stages we have pipeline so instead of running entire stuff in the single build uh, just we have uh, we have uh, segregated the, these events you can consider these as events or jobs right so multiple jobs you can uh, you can uh, integrate uh, in, in in a single pipeline on multiple events or multiple uh, basically uh, stages we can pipeline so first of all uh, declarative checkout scm has executed then after git repo and clean then install then testing is happening now all the genuine test cases are executing if you look into here separately you can see the logs right what happened in this log so this is install so install is nothing but the basically that is just trying to uh, generate the uh, uh, war file out of your uh, code right and packaging uh, uh, generated distributed dis distributed file is going to store into the, your uh, basically uh, target directory and that that is, is that is in current uh, running state right so all the phases are uh, basically uh, uh, there are four phases uh, executed successfully last phase packaging is going on right hopefully this should success as well right so this is succeeded as well right so now what i'll do guys i'll go to the project and here whatever code i had comment uh, commented i'm going to uncomment again so i'll go to the edit section because now when we run the first time then this project got generated that, that, that this project directory got created uh, you know, inside uh, your uh, uh, repository right now I go to the Jenkins again I am trying to run at this time this should not get failed now I just I am running it again now again Jenkins pipeline has started. Now first phase is succeeded. Now git repo and clean has started. Now is install mbn install is getting executed. That will try to generate the distributed file. And afterwards test mvn test is going to execute that will basically uh that will basically uh try to run all the test cases and here you can see the separate logs right you can expand and see what happens in this page in this stage And how long it took to execute and that time is also you can see over here right now if you want to see the uh, consolidated logs then you can go here and click over here and you can see the entire log okay Now package, MVN package is executing. So guys, uh, I think this is going to be pass. Entire pipeline is going to pass. So when your job or uh, when your build process is taking a lot of time, so you can break your build process in different stages and these stages you can pipeline so that uh, you can have a better tracking. You can see the separate log you can see the uh, separate log you can even see the consolidated log but in some of the phases if your build got, get uh, failed and after fixing if you try to run then uh, you can resume your uh, building basically building process right so this got uh, passed as well right so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial before leaving let me tell you one thing uh, this project uh, lo uh, this project uh, uh, i mean git project uh, uh, this git project location I'm going to specify in the video description part so that you can go uh, and download this project uh, or 
or you can do directly this is a basically a public repository so directly you can do some kind of practicing how we can uh, create pipelining in Jenkins so you can use the same example yeah so that's all I have in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial